Welcome back. It's now time for our cooking segment. And this morning, we have Carrie Snyder here. This morning, she is our neighborhood dietitian, and she's going to show us how to make roasted red pepper salmon patties. And the reason why we're making this is because it is a heart healthy meal uh, with February being heart month. Mm -hmm. So how are you doing yep. today? I'm doing great. So we're focusing on the salmon, and mm -hmm. this is actually a canned salmon, but you could use uh, salmon fillets that you cook up and just mm -hmm. um, flake it up. So we have about 12 ounces of salmon here. Okay. And what I want us to first do is we're going to add all of our, we're going to add about two tablespoons of cilantro. Okay. We're going to add a fourth a cup of diced um, green pepper, like mm -hmm. the, the heads of it, and about a half cup, fourth of a cup of roasted red pepper. And what we're going to do is go ahead and stir that up. We want to mix it up real well. Okay. And for for this recipe, I think the fork is the best utensil because it keeps it all nice and piecey. It won't mm -hmm. make things start lumping up. And then Look the next thing we're going to add in, and I'll have you keep stirring. Okay. We're going to add about a half of a cup of, uh, these are actually whole wheat um, breadcrumbs. Okay. So we're going to add those in, again, just getting it mixed up real well. Looks good. Yes, and it smells oh, you're doing a good job. <laughs> delicious. <And wonderful. laughs> Thank you. Okay, so once now, we have that mixed up. Now we're going to add our moisture. So okay. this is, we have one egg white we're going to add in. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to add in there for you is about a third cup of light mayonnaise, Miracle Whip, whatever people have their own preference. Mm -hmm. So just get that added. Okay. You're just going to mix that together. And then while you're mixing that, we're okay. going to start over here. So we have a cool lime dip that we're going to make for this. And what I have here is some mayonnaise along with some just plain Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So about a half cup of the mayonnaise and a fourth cup of the Greek yogurt. And what we're wanting to do is we're going to add some zest here from our lime. All right. So going to add some great flavor. Oh, and so you're then, just getting some of the peel in there, huh? Yep, that's right. what your zest is. Okay. It is peeling from, oh, from okay. your lime. So if you ever see a recipe that says like orange zest, lemon mm -hmm. zest, that's what that is. Oh, okay. really? Um, and so you can do it like that or you can also buy it already, um, like in your spice aisle. So what we're going to do is add one, um, the juice of one lime. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to squeeze that in there. Look Sorry, I hope no, I don't spray you. No, I'm stepping back. I'm good. <laughs> nope, all set. Walk away from yes. the lime. Okay. And we're going to do the other one. And then, Troy, after I get this put in there, uh -huh. I'm just going to have you stir that up. Okay. And then we're good there. So okay. once we have this all mixed in together, mm -hmm. we're going to take just about a medium scoop. Okay. And we're going to scoop it up. And we're gonna, I have a, what I have here is a plate of breadcrumbs, usually about a fourth of a cup for this okay. recipe works well. And I'm just gonna kind of smush these down. Okay. Sometimes you have to get in there and use your, yeah. your fingers. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some on top. And so then, kind of the same that you would do with chicken or pork chops or anything like oh that. Yeah. You want to get both sides coated with the breadcrumbs. Yep. You have yourself a patty, and then you're going to go ahead and just put it into the... Yep. We're just going to put it into the pan here okay. and let mm -hmm. it just grill up on each side, maybe two to three minutes Do you side. put any oil in the pan? I usually just use some pan just so it doesn't stick, but I like using a pan like this because then it gets nice and golden on each okay. side. And then the sauce is what we're going to go ahead and serve yep. on top of it? This, or? Yep, this sauce is what we'll put on top okay. of the salmon All to right. eat up. Dollop. So what we'll do is we'll continue cooking up some more patties because these look delicious. Mm -hmm. And then when we come back, we'll go ahead and show off the final product. And of course, our favorite part of the show is to try it. Sound good? Sounds so great. And right. if you're just joining us, we just made roasted red pepper salmon patties courtesy of Carrie Snyder, our neighborhood dietitian. And the great thing about this is it's heart healthy because mm -hmm. it is a National Heart Month with it being February and very easy to make. And not only does it look beautiful when you're making it, but I'm sure it's going to taste delicious mm -hmm. when we eat it. it smells great. I can't wait. Yeah, so really wonderful. quickly, do you want to just go over uh, mm -hmm. the quick ingredients that we made to make? So we had 12 ounces of cooked salmon and then about a half cup, or excuse me, I keep saying that, a fourth cup of the roasted bell pepper, fourth cup of green onion, and about two tablespoons of cilantro that we put in here. And then 
for um, we for some binder we had a half cup of whole wheat breadcrumbs and then we added some egg added a little bit of mayonnaise mm -hmm. and just just whip that up together and then you're just frying them like patties just like patties and you also made a sauce to go with it now mm -hmm. explain this sauce so that sauce is part mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, whichever you'd like to use, uh -huh. some Greek yogurt, uh, some lime zest, and lime juice. Okay, and then you just mix it all together mm -hmm. and then dollop it on top of your patties and enjoy. Mm -hmm. You can eat it like this. You yep. can eat it with a sandwich if you want, with some salad most, on the side. definitely, yep. So, fantastic. Are you ready to try this? It smells delicious. I'm gonna mm -hmm. try this. I was yes. just talking to you, Troy. Oh. You're just mesmerized by her yeah. cooking. Yeah, I was, I'm just watching. That's really good. That sauce. Oh, that's very good. Very refreshing, the sauce. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So what we'll very do good. to make it easier for all our viewers out there is we'll post the full recipe on our website at ktvo.com. Click on the Features tab at the top of the home page, and you'll see the Good Morning Heartland page as well. And we'll link up all the information with Carrie Snyder if you have any questions or concerns. Again, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. And thank you so much for joining us. We hope you have a fabulous weekend. And we'll see you right back here on Monday morning at 5.30 a.m.